welcome back to more Walking Dead. Let's just go and resume right into it. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Oh, so we Agreed. are in Macon. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's get a motel gas. not too far from here. Out towards the end this of Peach Street. Die. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Siphoning? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon oh. as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on Lily him. and Larry. These boys <laughs> will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. God, Lily's like pissed at us, huh? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? No. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. This is a hard decision. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any decisions. unnecessary noises. Agreed. Bad idea. Jesus. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. I think I'm way we more than a couple get days. Out of here. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah. Didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Uh, it's a combination lock. Okay. <laughs> Look at the one trapped over there. Better hell than us, huh? How can you see that from all the way back there? That's insane. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. I'm gonna get could be anybody, out. you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. It looks like pretty much any, everything. I don't know what else there is to... 
It's doing what lucks do. We prove that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... That's really sad. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get Jeez. home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. I can't reach that brick. Oh, what? I don't know what else to do. Let's head back inside. Okay. okay. I don't think searching that guy over there would be a good idea. We'd probably get ourselves killed. Hi. Wow. Okay. So we talk to Doug. We should probably talk to Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. <laughs> Doug. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm keeping my hands on keys one, two, and three so that I don't accidentally hit silence. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Batteries in this thing. You didn't what? check the batteries? Are you kidding? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Are you Thanks. kidding? I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Okay. So we gotta look for batteries. All I have right now is an energy bar. Green cards. Photographs. Oh no. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead car. <laughs> Battery! We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Gave that old man hell. Yeah. Okay, so he we got like pushed, you know. You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell. Nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? <laughs> She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Oh. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. 
We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Good talking. Try to let it go. alive inside on the door. There's another energy bar. I want the other battery, please. Oh no, I need to talk to Clementine. Talk to Clemmy. Love you, Clemmy. I could give her an energy Hey bar. there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Yeah. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Sit tight. Okay. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I did take care of Clementine. Alright. Salmon ATM. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I need another battery. Please. Jeez. No more batteries? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I guess I have to open the office. I think that's the only last thing to do. Yeah, this is probably what I had to do. When did Clementine get there? State kid. My parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe, or a protector at least. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you I heard from Glenn? It. Not in a little while. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. This game is so sweet. This door leads to the back alley. So, 
this it? There's a photo over there. Can you look at it? Why? <laughs> There's a photo over there. Oh, here he is. Can you are you gonna take it? Put it in your pocket. Find anything? Oh crap. Just a picture of whoever was here. No, it doesn't like I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's good. I leave her. I her. Where did she leave? I guess I'm gonna have to exit because there's no batteries in here. I really just want that battery. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Yeah. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to Should eat I you? Her? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? Yes. He was. Yay! Telling the truth did pay off because she still has uh she's still not free. Good. Good. Okay. Can we get a battery now? Somewhere, anywhere, please. We should, we should give them an energy bar. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I did this already. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. I'm gonna avoid that. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? 
This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Mm. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. Oh. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, oh, God, I heard crying this. coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Oh my Think God, about it if it was you. I know it for a fact. I can already tell. Fine. He's let's really go save Blitz. The story so distress. far. Oh dear. Oh dear. For a second. Need to check. Okay. What is going on? That was a good okay, shot. this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. <laughs> so we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look God. around. She comes from either. All right, all right. There's a pig in the truck. So we can just kill it. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Getting frustrated. You know what this means? This means we're gonna have to go back to the RV. And this is gonna take hours and hours. Yeah, 
Kaya... Don't be all day. Okay. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. Can you not? Like, ugh. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. I'm gonna puke. Okay. Let's let's go back to the car. Maybe we could do. Are we gonna try to? Okay, we can smother. Okay, I got it. I got what we're trying to do. Okay, so go over back to this truck. <sighs> so I could really use this car, and that guy's just sitting there, and now I know how to get rid of him. I completely forgot to do this. I'm so sorry. Get out your gun. What the noise? Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. <sighs> Dang! That was sick! Okay, thank the lords. Okay, let's look in here. Hey, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Calm, calm yourself. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Oh my. We we'll need to calm ourselves. Okay. So what do you say we go back over there and kill that one, and then we can move over there? Oh man, this is gonna take so much editing later.
Dude, oh. where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Excuse me, darling. <laughs> two more. Two that more. Should help. <laughs> this is actually painful. Oh god. Why don't you guys lag behind just no. in case this goes to hell? Okay. No! We'll be right behind you. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in yeah hit the <clears throat> it's boarded up I you might want to break through that board first yeah <clears throat> And now we can kick the door down. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. Okay. Who is this? You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you. I made the right decision. Oh, is she gonna shoot us? Shoot that guy right in the middle? Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What?! Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Why do I have to do okay. everything? You. Okay, I'm gonna have to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Anything else? <laughs> Goodbye.